is Rob with SaveNet AT, and today we're integrating our Luna SA HSM for Government with XWay VA Validation Authority. You will need to have the Luna client already installed and configured. Here we've installed it to the default location. We can run VTL Verify from the Luna client directory to verify that the partition is assigned correctly. And if we use the CMU list command, we can see the objects that are currently on the HSM. Once the integration is done, we'll be able to compare the new items that were created. With the Luna client configured correctly, we can now launch the installation file, and that will begin the installation of Axway VA. Here we'll click Next, then we'll accept the license agreement, and we'll enter a username, company name, and email address, and then click Next. We'll accept the default location for the installation, and on this page we'll enter the host name and port to be used for the web interface for administering the system, as well as the admin username and the password. This will be used to log into the web browser to configure Axway VA. Here we can review the settings, and if everything looks good, we can click Next to begin the installation. The installer opens this folder with the links. We can minimize that for now. We'll make sure that Launch Administration User Interface is selected, and click Finish. Once this web page opens, we can use the admin username and password that we created during the installation to log in. On the setup web page, we can see all of the options on the left hand column. These will be the options we'll use to configure Axway VA. We'll start with the enter license option. On the enter license page, we'll paste in the text of the license code. For here, I'll just use dummy text and then click Submit License. I'll select No for installing custom extensions and click Submit. And here we need to enter a server password. Take note of this text that indicates that we do need to have this password match the partition password of the Luna SA HSM for Government. So we'll enter the partition password here under Enter New Password and Confirm New Password, and then click Submit. Then we'll click Next Step. Here we have the Key Type Selection page. We can choose the type of key to be created. I'll select the default. And on the Key Generation page, for the Hardware Key Generation, we'll select Chrysalis. The Hardware Key Generation Import Using Chrysalis option instructs it to use the Luna SA HSM libraries to generate the key. Then we select Generate New Private Key and click Submit. On the Generate Hardware Key and Certificate page for this, we'll enter the user pin, which is the password for the partition of the Luna SA. We'll give it a friendly name and we can enter a key expiration or leave this at zero. I'll accept the rest of the defaults, and then under Certificate Information, we'll enter the specific DN information for the certificate. Under Certificate Options, we'll leave this all set to the defaults and click Submit. Once the key has been created, we'll see a success message and we can click Next Step. Under Manage Certificate Store, 
we'll select CA Certificates, and then scroll down and click Submit. For the CA that we'll be using with this validation authority, we have the CA root certificate in a file. So for certificate import method, we'll choose local file and then click Submit. Here we'll browse to the root certificate. We'll select the root certificate and then click Open. Then we'll click on Submit Certificate File, verify this is the correct certificate, and click Submit Certificates. Here we can see details about the certificate, and we'll click Next Step. For the next step, we'll configure the CRL imports. In our case, we're using a URL, so we will select the HTTP option. And under the Configure CRL Import page, we'll enter the URL of the certificate revocation list. And then we'll scroll down and click Add Source. Now we can click Next Step. The Configure Server URLs page will auto-populate with the hostname. We could add additional servers here. For now, we'll just go with the hostname and click Submit. Then click Next Step. And here we can enter VA Responder Server Configuration Parameters. For this demonstration, we'll be accepting the defaults here. and click Submit. Then click Next Step. Then on the Server Start Stop page, we'll enter the password for the server, which is also the password of the Luna SA partition, and click Start Server. Here we can see the server status is now on, and the server is running. Now in our command prompt window in the Luna client directory, we can run the CMU list command again. And when we do this, we'll see the additional objects that have been created on the HSM. Compared to the previous output, we now see there are two additional RSA keys, a public and a private, that were created. These are the keys marked July 10th. And this completes the integration of SafeNet AT's Luna SA HSM for Government with Axway's VA Validation Authority. Be sure to check out our other guides and videos on the web for more of our products and integrations.